Hello there. This is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, sometimes a prog sheet, sometimes of many different things, Luthless Lahas Award winner. And this is Saturday, the 5th of June, 2021. And, oh, before I go anywhere, look at this. Isn't this neat? This is a Hot Wheel Twin Mill. Now, what you're asking is the significance of that. Why do we care, John? Well, you probably don't, but let me tell you that that is a new reissue of a Hot Wheel car that I had when I was eight years old with the original run of Hot Wheels. Uh, the Twin Mill was one of the first, and uh, great joy there. Now, let me start with something I meant to mention last week, and I forgot. Um, as many of you know, I also do um, a thing the day before this of six songs. Uh, for example, this yesterday it was uh, six exquisite cream songs. Now, the other week, I had wanted to do six just fabulous Jimi Hendrix Experience songs. But I found that I could not because I guess the Jimi Hendrix estate has blocked those songs from YouTube. I, you can find some dodgy quality, some kind of other take, whatever, you know, but it's not the versions I was looking for, not the official things. You can't get them on YouTube right now. So I can't, I can't bring you the joy that is the Jimi Hendrix experience and what they brought me. So just want to let you know that. So this week is, in fact, today is my final day of being 60 years old. Uh, tomorrow on the 6th at 5.24 p.m. I will turn 61. So, so there you go. Um, I've already, I've got a lovely gift today being Saturday from my friend Ari. I thank you Ari who never watches these anyway but I thank you anyway. And I got some stuff from two of my nephews. Very generous of everyone involved. And uh, so this week I was glad to see my friend Joan was able to once again go to ShopRite. So we went there Thursday and um, I got some wonderful stuff I got a few things that um, you'll see photos at the end. I needed soy sauce, and I was in the international section, and in the like Mexican Spanish section, there was this brand Kiko, not to be confused with Kiko Man, just Kiko, K I K K O. However, for reasons that elude me, in their logo, the I and the O are very significantly smaller than the three K's. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, what? KKK soy sauce? Huh? So I had to look closer and sure enough, it was Kiko. But there you go. I'm sorry, I'm holding in a sneeze as we speak. So my face will probably be weirdly mobile. Uh, get used to it. And um, I also bought these, um, I forget the name, it, it'll be in the picture, um, these things that look like, I thought I would get a bunch of these like cookie things, but really the package only has three of them. And I'm going to say they are an Italian sophisticated version of a Hostess Snowball. It's got this really nice succulent moist cake inside with some nice cream in the center and it's covered but not with marshmallow but it's covered with a, a coating with coconut and stuff absolutely delicious so I put a, a picture of them at the end and I also bought some um, pink Himalayan salt <laughs> because I don't know I saw it and I said you know I know I don't need this, but I'm going to get it anyway, just because I can get it, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I'm jumping all over the place, but I was I was laughing my butt off today, 
just because of the name of it I'm passing by the channels and on CBS this afternoon was um, a uh, professional cornholing yes professional cornholing make your own joke it is in fact basically like like a beanbag toss and they had to toss I love that it was brought by uh, sponsored by Johnsonville the sausage and brats people so the sausage people were, were supporting the cornholing that was going on and let me tell you it was of a high and professional level this cornholing uh, everyone seemed to have a, a great time and I will now stop talking about that so this week um, like I said back to ShopRite back to a sense of normality on that level um, in the midst of reading uh, yet another old Doc Savage book this one Mystery on Happy Bones is the story I'm in the middle of uh, from it's a wartime 1943 story <clears throat> and it's a lot of fun very interesting and involving uh, a couple of islands near the Panama Canal so fun stuff love seeing that um, the other day watched great uh, one two punch of films a blackboard jungle and to sir with love were on Turner classic movies so that was lots of fun when was that I think that might have been Thursday night Wednesday night or Thursday night but I believe it was Thursday night um, so did that uh, talk to my uh, dear friend Grace Mary who usually brings me communion before all of COVID sad to hear that her mom died um, her mom was a real firecracker of a person that you know um, we went to some shows Grace Mary and I and her mom came along too to some concerts because Grace Mary's sister and her sister's husband run a venue in Norwalk um, and and so her mom would come along so I was very sorry to hear her passing uh, I really enjoyed her company she was a lot of fun and if you see this Grace Mary I, I, I understand your loss so um, very sad to hear that but uh, it's a loss I've, I've been through too many of them myself so I understand and what else today I was gonna do some work I was doing a bit of editing and writing and I had such pain in my right hand I just had to stop doing anything too productive so we didn't do that um, looking forward tomorrow some family is supposed to come by for they're bringing me a strawberry shortcake and some pizzas so, you know for everyone to sit and have so I'll see some family that would be nice um, have I left anything out that went on this week it was more paperwork to do Thankfully, I got that done. Can I officially roll my eyes? Yes, I can. And um, talks with different friends, as always. Um, you know, different versions of the same. I have some ideas. I don't have much sleep lately. I don't know why. It's just been horrible. Um, but I've I've been full of ideas that I'm. I need to write several things down and just just some direction just some thoughts about uh, the year ahead so I hope you're all doing well please let me know what's going on with you I'm always delighted to hear from my friends you know I love you all very much so we will see you next week and you'll get 61 year old John won't you take care bye bye <laughs>